See, don't waste time in writing in a chat. Just uh, unmute yourself and speak up so that it will be a quick communication, okay? Okay, so I have written it over here. Till here we have done, correct? And that was a quick revision in the last lecture. We've done the basics, keywords, data type operators, then identifiers and data types, what exactly we have, and just an overview of the sets and lists and tuples, etc. So today we are going to go a little bit with of whatever we have studied, okay? And then after that, we'll go with the programming, okay? So the remaining concept of the chapter one will cover, and then we'll start with the chapter two. Okay, so uh, basically when we start programming, okay, I hope you can, I'm audible. Can you hear me all? Yes, ma'am. Good. Okay, so when we start our programming, what is necessary that we know now, correct? The data type and the software, this is we are going to use, etc. cetera. Ma'am, uh, ma yes? did, you, did you send the uh, PDF for the last class? No, I haven't. I'll send it today together. So this and the, because this is only uh, literally a one single uh, PPT. Okay, so <clears throat> now we know what exactly we have, uh, the basics. That is now we are going to start with the flow of execution. As you can see, there are three uh, bullets are written. One is sequence statement, another is selection statement, another is iteration, okay? Sequence statement as in very simple, okay? I hope you can see my screen. I'll just go to... Uh, this one i've just written what i've written print good morning nothing else if i write print and i just mention here computer this is sequence and i'm just writing a something else too that is like suppose a a equals to four i'm just mentioning over here and i'll just put print and then they put a okay and then i'll say run now, what happened? I'm just putting some sequence statements inside that and we are getting the output. So that is a sequence statement where we don't have any <clears throat> if else, where we don't have any iteration that is for and while. These are going to be a sequence statement, okay? So if the question comes in MCQs or whatever, then you have to be very sure with these statements. You all know, you all know the things, only the technical terms we which we use that are important, correct? So the first is what sequence statement, okay? So when the sequence st statement comes in a picture, the most important comes as an import, okay? You must have seen the import functions of math, okay? How to use the uh, random or a math? Uh, anyone have used that before? <clears throat> Like suppose if I want to use math, so there are two types if you want to use math function, correct? We just will say what? I'll just put input, correct? And then I'll say math. So either you can do write this uh, and when you're printing that, what are you going to write? Math dot pi, correct? And if I run this, we'll get the value. Now, other method is what? You can import with a it's it's a particular letter so you don't need to write that dot correct dot is an operator where you can access that thing okay so how you write from math then we'll write import pi so what we told to a compiler we told to a compiler that math is a library function from this we are importing pi so while printing it i'll just put pi If you know this, good. But if you don't know this, these are the two ways to use an import function that comes in a sequence statement. I hope you know this, okay? Now, the thing is that, uh, why we have this? Why we have this? So here we have a one single statement where if you want to use n number of different functions, then you can go ahead with that. Okay, from a math, but the thing is that you have to use a dot operator to get the data from that library function. That's the first thing. And when you have this, like suppose if you have, like suppose only uh, three parameters you want to use from a particular uh, library function, then you can use the second method. Is this clear to all? Yes, ma'am. 
Yes. Okay. Good. Now the third type is there for this particular thing is from math and we'll write import star. Okay. If you remember the MySQL term, when we write star, select star from whatever the table name. What was the star name? Everything including that table we are going to display it. Correct. The similar type is there. When we write star and we tell a compiler that whichever is available, you no need to write math dot. Okay. So you can do that. Let's suppose I'll write print. I'm just taking the same example, but I hope you're understanding what I really mean to say. Okay. Then and write, suppose I want to have a factorial of a number. Okay. So what I, what I did right here, print, then factorial and whatever the number you want to write. Okay, and then I'll run. So what was the difference? The answer is same in the first example, answer is same in the second example, answer is same in the third example. But the way we write, the way you're going to use that in a program that depends on the programmer, that means you. So we have these types when we write a program and then we are going to go forward with, with which is comfortable for our programming skills. Okay, so and uh, depends on what is your problem statement. So if you just want to have a single, then you can go ahead with this. If you want to have a single parameter from a single library function, then you can go ahead with the second type. And if you want to have a, all of them without a dot operator, you can go with the star. Clear with this? No, yes. can, can you please repeat the fifth one? I didn't understand the function. This one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm saying that when we read star, when we read star, that means, see, what is the difference between this statement and this statement? In this statement, we have to mention, suppose I want to have the factorial function over here, I, write to, I have to write from math import factorial. That means when you, when you want to have a particular parameter from a library function, you need to mention it in the end. But what if I don't know how many functions or how many parameters I want? I want more than two or three. So I don't know. I don't want to uh, write it over here before the program. So I will, we can have a star and star represents that you can use the parameters or the functions inside the library function without using the dot operator. That was an important thing. I suppose I'll just mention it over here. So this and this is same. There is no difference, but same as in the syntax is same. But if you consider only a star over here, you can write n number of different things. Here, we don't have a, a dot operator, but here we have mentioned the pi. That's the difference. I hope you got it now. Yes, yes. Good, very good. So this is how we're going to use it. Now suppose someone says, I don't want to use math. I want to use the whole mathematics as a word. That will not work. I've given an example. It will give an error. Import mathematics. Suppose I write this, okay? And uh, while printing, I'll print mathematics dot pi. You know this, but I'll just give an example how the compiler see. What it told? Mathematics hai ni kuch. Library function hai nahi isi naam ka. So um, it, it is not going to. Um, is this yeah. not we uh, bring any kind, mention any kind of library when we are using it in Python? Which one? Um, any kind of library, like the we use libraries. So. Yes, so it is very sure, it is case sensitive. So you have to use the word at is, as it is given in the library. So you can't use another, like uh, other than that. That is the thing, nothing else. So. Um, so basically use it with the three types, whichever you have. So even if we want to use a random, how you use random? Can anyone tell me? Apne use kiya last year? Random function use kiya apne? Okay, suppose if I write import random.
then which functions you can use there I suppose if I want to have an initial value as two and the final value as ten, then I'll run it. What do you mean by this statement? It will give a random integer between two. It will give a random number from two to ten. So, what do you mean by this? The two values which we write inside the rand end, the first value is start and the second value is stop. So you can write from 100 to 1000 also or 1 to 1000 also. So this is how we are going to write it. So this is going to give, if you again, uh, click and again run this. So again, you will get a different value. So this is a random function. We have uh, many functions over there in this uh, method, sorry, this model, okay? So this was what I was telling you about the simple statements, okay? Can now, uh, then also. yep, what? Can it give two and ten also? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, the thing is that what I was telling you, yes, I was telling you about this sequence. So here we have n number of different functions. Have you used that in the last year? If you haven't, I am requesting you, please. It's a very small program because Python has very small syntax and small programs, correct? So just go through all the functions uh, from import math. Okay, that's your homework, the first homework you're going to have. And you're going to find it out what exactly means by it. If you don't understand, you can ask me in the next lecture, okay? Now, <clears throat> the next is what we, what we said, the flow of uh, execution selection statement, correct? And that comes as if statement only if, okay? Then comes as simple if statement, if else and then if else nested and if else ladder okay now uh, suppose if i want to have a uh, example like suppose the question says that i just want to have an even number from the program okay how you're going to write it Number divisible by two, then print. Uh, I have no about I have the last two. Last two as in which functions you're talking about? <clears throat> the degrees and radians, or which I have written in the uh, PPT right now. Okay, no issues. We are going ahead. Okay. Yes, so if I want to have a simple if, okay, simple if and as in, there is no else statement. So what I'm going to write it, either you can take it from the user or you can put, uh, assign the value. Suppose I'll just take A and uh, I'll put the value as four. So now we can see the value is four, that means it's an even number, correct? So I'll just put if A, perfect, very good. So when we write this, it's, it's simple. So we are just going to use the modular function. And then if it is equal to equal to zero, then what we are going to do, this came, sorry, I have forgotten to write this. Yeah, Print, and then I'll write it's even. See, uh, whatever you're writing inside the double code, it's up to you. You can use that, okay? Now, if I run this, I have not written two, okay. Yeah, it's even. Now, if I want to uh, do this program with the user input, what will change over here? Ma'am, we'll write int input. Okay. In... Everyone getting what's happening, we are, we are starting with very basics, okay? If you have doubt, let me check uh, over here only because if we go ahead, we will take basics. We will not be able to move forward. So, if we are doing this, what we did first? What we did first? We have assigned the number. Now, we are taking it from 
the user. Now user means from the keyboard. अभी ये क्या हो रहा है? When I put this thirteen over here, तो ये thirteen कहाँ जा रहा है? This thirteen is assigned to A, and then it will come down over here. Okay. What's the issue? We have written no uh, statement for the odd numbers. Correct. So the statement, the program, uh, problem statement was what here? I was just having to find the number even. That's it. So this was simple if. So this is not going to give you any other number. Now suppose if I run this again and I put eight, it will give you the value for sure. Now here we haven't used else. Okay, that was the second part. So first is if statement only if, nothing else uh, in that. Now second is simple if and else. We don't have uh, extra if. We don't have an extra else into it. Okay, so simple if and else. Now if we increase the problem statement to this or okay, i'll i just keep this as it is and i'll get this to the next okay now what i'm going to do is to find the given number is odd or even now here we have two conditions okay so at this point we are going to use the second type that is if and else so it's simple if else again we don't have anything other than that why i'm saying simple if else because we can have multiple if else we can have nested if else too okay we are going to see that after this now when we have this what happened over here when i put it 13 or when if you put 7 or if you put 5 that are all odd numbers they are not going to give you the value Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to get here, and I'll just write else. Okay, so right now we are going ahead with simple if else, and this is only if statement. Okay, I'm mentioning it in the comments so you can get a clear idea. Okay, so if I write else over here, what will happen now? We we'll find an alternative. Okay. The number is off. If the above condition is not met, then the else one is printed. Perfect. Very good. So, what do you mean by this? Now we have the two condition. If this condition is false, then it will come over here. Correct. If condition is false, and if it is true, then this is going to be. compiled so if i run this and if i put 7 now it's odd and what we have put in the last uh, example i'll just run it what was the number it was 13 now it will come odd so now if you put even number or if you put odd number it is going to give you the value now tell me one thing if i run this program and i put a what will be the output in when no output No output. Why? Ma'am, because it is. Because specified type. Perfect. So now, what we have learned through these three programs. The first program, what we have seen, only if. Second program, what we have seen, if else. And the third, what I have changed it over here. Well, giving the value. This is now known as compile time error. There is no logical error. There is no syntax error. This is compile time error. So what we want, we want a number which is an integer, and we have provided a character. So that's not going to work. So whenever you you say कि आप program करते हो और आपको लगता है error आ रहा है, क्यों error आ रहा है? ये समझना जरूरी है. हमने लिखा क्या है? Problem statement मतलब क्या? ये जो हम ऊपर लिख रहे हैं, इसको problem statement बोलते हैं. Technical term है. मतलब आपको करना क्या है? Simple language में. Okay. And when we understand कि आपको करना है देन यू राइट सम स्टेटमेंट डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट यू अंडरस्टूड 
मैंने जैसे लिखा है इनपुट के अंदर आपको वैसे ही लिखना इट्स नॉट नॉट नेसेसरी एट ऑल यू कैन राइट डिफरेंट बट द लॉजिक इज गोइंग टू बी सेम ओके इज दैट क्लियर वट दैट सुमिता अरोरा वी हैवेंट रीच टू दाइल येट सो वी आर गोइंग वन बाय वन बिकॉज देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दे डोंट इवन अंडरस्टैंड सिंपल इफ एल स्टेटमेंट टू ओके नाउ वॉट आई वॉन्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू सम टाइम लाइक वन टू मैनेज एंड प्लीज राइट अ वेरी सिंपल स्टेटमेंट i'm just going to run this i don't want this error okay now my what i want is just write a simple write a program to find whether a person can vote Would or not? That's it. Very, very simple. Same as whatever we have done. Just I'm going to give you one two minutes. I'm going to give you the uh, programs, the solution to this. I want you to do it first. Don't put in a chat. I'll ask someone to do it. Okay. Just someone who can vote or not, and the age criteria is eighteen. You know that. Okay. So it should be greater than eighteen. And let me know when you complete it. Okay, good. Okay, just let me know who didn't understood the question. Please uh, don't hesitate that I don't understood. I don't know how to write. Let. प्लीज स्पीक अप सो दैट वी कैन हैव दिस सोल्यूशन अगर आप अभी नहीं बोलोगे तो बाद में आपको कुछ नहीं समझेगा गुड हु डिड अंडरस्टूड वट टू राइट ओके नो इशूज द फर्स्ट thing either you can assign the value or you can get it from the user that's the first thing okay so we are going to get a value is equals to we are going to get the value in integer correct input and then i'll just put enter age in number i have put it specifically in a number because someone can put 18 19 or any okay so you have to be very specific when you write good okay so here what he, he uh, maybe you saw because my whole screen is visible what he write was uh, try an exception error etc so if you don't know it's okay we are just going through uh, if else okay now <coughs> if what we want to write what was the condition if age is greater than and equal to 18 then the person can vote correct so i'm just going to write it over here <coughs> age greater than equal to 18 okay and then here it will be a statement that person can would or eligible for voting and here else okay this else will tell that the person cannot vote 
okay those who have done everyone it's same or different but the logic is important ye yeah, this is the logic that said other than this if you write anything it's okay no issues with it those who didn't understood the question or the problem statement at least are you getting what exactly we have to do when we understand the question yes ma'am very good ma'am uh, ma'am i uh, i wrote the same way ma'am but uh, in the logic in, in, they are i think there is something wrong i i am sending in the screenshot this okay yeah no issue send me okay till then i will want uh, the next okay next as in i'm not moving a little slow but uh, not going very uh, lethargic it's also not allowed because we have to move um, till then you send me the screenshot i'm telling you the next we are going to go with if else ladder okay now what exactly mean by that we'll go with an example okay so i'm just writing a problem statement till i can solve the error write a program which tells that the number is either 10 20 30 40 or 50 okay that means what do you mean by this if you put 10 it will say the number is 10 okay if you put 20 it will say the number is 20 and if you put 100 in valid input understood the question Yes ma'am. Good. Go ahead. See, again the relational operator, what should we write? a should be greater than correct you have written a less than that's a logical error understood what i'm saying manish it is yes ma'am okay just do it once and let me know you're getting the output or not ma'am the thing is that they are not highlighting the logic that's no one will highlight the logic No, uh, like uh, if it's like uh, correct, then the color changes, right? That is what happens. Ah, uh, no. See, in syntax, it will just give you a syntax error. When it is error, it will just give you a syntax error. Right now, there is nothing. The command not found. It's saying that means you are putting enter enter age. Okay, if this is ah. Um, आपने इंडेंटेशन भी निकाल दिया है वहां से वेन यू पुट दिस डॉट ये कोलन जब डालते हो ना आप आप एंटर करते हो तो वहां पे इंडेंटेशन भी आता है जस्ट वेट आई टेल यू अगेन सी सपोज आई नॉट राइट इन दिस आई गो सी इफ आई राइट इफ ओके ओके गुड बट आई जस्ट टेल यू इफ आई राइट दिस इफ ए इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू थ्री and if i write a colon over here and if i put enter the this indentation is important okay again we are coming back to a very basics which we have uh, seen i told you in the last lecture this block is important in other programming language we use uh, the curly braces or parentheses etc but in python this indentation of the spaces is very important if you just remove it then there will be an error and that is syntax error okay so this is important so just write print a is 3 i'll run this yes it is 3 okay good
Okay, if you understood this question, this is very similar, uh, which always like most of the time comes in an exam. Like if, uh, if you put M, then it's Monday. If you put T, then it's Tuesday kind of a thing. So if you understood this, then that question and that two, three marks uh, are in your hand. It's very simple, basically. First, we'll do this, and then I'll tell you that uh, question for homework purpose. I hope this is visible to me only. Yeah. Yes. Good. Now, this is a concept which I told you about the theory, which is a false ladder. Okay, for that, we actually are going to use a different word and that is known as LF. Okay, done everywhere. Now we'll take an input only from an user. I'll just put A int number, sorry, int input enter number. Between 10, 50. Okay. So I'm mentioning it very clear while giving an uh, output, while taking an input. Okay. Now, after this, what we need to check, either the number should be 10, 20, 30, and 40, it should get printed. 10 hai, to baba ye 10 hai. 20 hai, to ye 20 hai. 30 hai, to ye 30 hai. That's it. So, condition kya hai amari? This is same. Ye maine yaha pe jo likha, this is, will be same. If, the case is, see, if you don't write the parenthesis, it's okay, and this is going to work. So, I have an habit to put the parenthesis, that's why I always put it. अगर आप आपको लग रहा है ये important है ऐसे नहीं है if को अगर आप parenthesis में condition नहीं डालते हो again it is going to work okay so a equals to equals to now double equals to means checking single equals to means assignment always remember okay and here I'll just put ten okay and then indentation important at this point I'm going to write print sorry number is ten Similar. Now, at this point, now what we want to check? Jab number yaha pe aega. Like suppose if I put a value as 20. So at every time it should check all if conditions? No. Okay, it should not be that. If the first condition is true, it will go and it will execute and it will come out of the loop. That should be our case. Okay. If the first condition is false, if this condition is true, it is going to execute this. But if this condition is false, then and then only it should go to the next. For that purpose, we are going to have LF. Okay, what do you mean by this? LF means else if. Agar ye nahi hai, to ek or condition. Right now, over here, what we did? Agar ye false hai, to ye yaha aega. But now we want to check agar upar wala false hai to or a condition is kili. That's why the elif is used. Understood the uh, use of elif? Yes, yes, ma'am. Break statement. We haven't yet went to jump statements. We have just started with if else right now. Okay. Again, I'm coming to the same point. That's correct. It's perfectly fine. This is not uh, like this. I'll not say this is wrong or something, but we have started what? We are, I'm just saying we have just started with B, B6 of FLs. You, we are going to go ahead with the logical operators. Right now, we have just started with relational operators that are less than, equal to, equal to, equal to, etc. Okay. So <coughs> at this point, LF, so what we are going to write? Agar A equal to equal to 20 hai, then give an indentation, write the print statement, and the number is 20. Okay. Again, come back. Again, we have how many conditions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So here I'll just mention. Sorry. 
See, if you're confident about your writing, etc., you can go ahead with copy paste because all things is same. Yes. And and... Isko kar sakta hai ka ki if A is divided by 10, to 0 equal to 0. Aa jayega. And then for random ki, random ki, uh, condition laga de ki 1 se 50 ho na chahiye. Yes, very good. That could be a logic. No issues. If you have a reminder uh, 0 hai, uh, and the quotient is around 1 to 5, then yes, that will be from 10, 20, 50. But we have to again check for it. Again, you have to condition for random. Ke liye, because random ka agar 2 aaya, so we have to tell na, it's 20. Because the question is saying what? Random mein kuch bhi aa sakta hai. Random mein 3 bhi aayega, 2 bhi aayega, 4 bhi aayega. But right now, aise aayega. Suppose if you put a, a number is 20. Or aagya number 30. So that's that the logic error will happen. Okay. Getting what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Good. We can use a logical operator over here. Because that will end up in a single line. After what? Okay, I'm writing again LF because uh, the last statement say if we put other than this numbers, it should be invalid. That's why. Okay. You can use your logics. We have a number of different logics. No issues. Okay. At this point, what I'm going to write is else. Only else. Or ye else ke andar kya likhenge ham? Print F, sorry, print invalid <clears throat> input. <coughs> sorry. So at this point, what happened? Agar ye true hai, to ye aega. Agar ye false hai, to yaha jaega. It will check over here whether A is 20. See, whenever you write the program, make a habit to do a dry run. What do you mean by dry run? Pata hai kisi ko? Okay, if you don't know, I'll let you know that is very important concept when you have a program in your hand. If you don't know uh, what exactly will be the output, write your program and what you're going to do is check out whether your program is going correct way or not. Okay? Now at this point, uh, suppose at this point what I have written 20 input. Kiya hai, okay? 20 input, karne ke baad, this is not true. This will be false. So it will come over here. Now this is true. It will uh, execute and it will get out of the program. Done. Now suppose if I change the value to 70. Input value to 70. This is true? No, this is not true. So it will come over here. Again, uh, A is 20. No, 70 is not 20. False. Again, 70 is not 30. False. 70 is not 40. 70 is not 50. Nothing. So this all conditions are false now. It, that's why it will come over here and it will give you an output as invalid input. Getting what exactly a dry run means? Dry run means it's, it's always whatever you've written, you have to check it before executing the program. Okay. So I'll put this here and I'll put 70 now. What happened? Usne kya kya? Pehle check kya, dusra check kya, tisra check kya, chotha check kya, panchma check kya. Everything is false. Then it came to the else part. Getting it? What, what is it else ladder? Yes, ma'am. Name. This technical name. Hai, but the name suggests what? Suggests kya karta hai aapko? Ki ye ho sakta hai ya fir ye ho sakta hai. Okay. Now, the next is uh, nested if else. Before that, I just want uh, some one, two programs for uh, if else ladder only. <clears throat> it's very basic and bohot time aapne dekha bhi hoga shayad se. So, I just want you to write about grades. Okay. So, suppose... If the grades are 80 to 90, then the grade is A. Okay, if above that, then it is A plus. So I mentioned that over here. 90 above, then grade is A. 70 to 90, grade B. Now, in this, we are going to use if-else ladder and logical operator. So, we are going one step ahead 
for each program. Okay, understand the concept, then do the program. <clears throat> then 45 to 70, I'm just taking a very big steps. See, write that capital, okay? And then 35 to 45, create pass and less than 35 field. Okay, these are the grades fields which you have to write. So what do you want to get? Marks or percentage as an input and you have to print grade. Okay, this is your problem statement. question Let me know, I'll tell you the question first. What we have to use over here? As if yes, if else ladder. Yes, it's ladder. Yes, the name name is what? It's a technical name. That's it. L. And you can use the logical operators. Now, just go logical operators. Pata nahi I'm just going to tell you for them. We can use or. We can use and. We can go for not. Okay, we have discussed that in the last lecture. But if you don't remember. Or means there are two conditions. Both conditions may say ek bi condition agar true hai, to uske andar ki value hum execute kar sakte if can there. And may do conditions diye hua hai, us do no condition ko true ho na chahiye, tabhi aapka condition true ho ga. Okay, that is same as a binary addition and binary multiplication. You do it once, I'll give you two, three minutes. If you're not doing, I'm going to give you the solution, not to worry about it. Good. Again, the basic question I'm asking. Question samjha sabko? Problem statement jisko hum bolte hai, jab hum program likhte hai. Samjha hai sabko? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. And you have told me or use kar sakte, and use kar sakte, not use kar sakte. But you have to use kar na, that your logic will tell you. You have to think a little bit. Okay, so no issues. You can grade le sakte, but then uh, what are you going to tell? Your score what? Your grade score what are you doing? There should not be any confusion while writing the program. Just take it. This is Uchira. Okay, who's this? What's the name? Aryan. Aryan. In your program, if I put the number as 101, what will be the output? Yes, you can do it. But we are just introducing the logical operators into the if is. That's why I said we are going to use it. Yes, no issues. Uh, Ma'am. Yeah. 
Ma'am, like there is a default uh, in Java. Uh, is there something in uh, Python also? Default means if uh, none of the cases match, then uh, it will return a, a failure uh, uh, output. Yes, it is there. Default arguments you can say, but you have to define that then. Yes, ma'am, because we will first define the ones which But we, right now we are uh, not using the uh, functions. So, uh, okay, okay, no, no, that that we don't have in here. As you're saying in Java directly, you can put default and you can go ahead with that, no. But if you if, if we have the function, then if we can mention some arguments while passing it out because we haven't started yet with the definition fu functions part. Okay, ma'am. Um, but uh, if so, we we'll, we'll have to write uh, every single like uh, uh, if it is in negative or if it is uh, above. Uh, uh, then I you guess, can mention uh, in single if statement, na? Uh, okay, I'll do. Uh, okay, okay. Or or or, dal do ki agar less than zero hai, greater than hundred hai, ya fir character hai, you can put in single if else statement. No issues. Okay, ma'am. Those who are done, please go forward with uh, to find out the greatest number among three numbers. Or you can put that as a homework. Okay, done. So I'm taking an M variable. Those who didn't understood or they are trying, you can uh, see now, no issues. Okay, so at this point, suppose I have this, okay, the basic statement. Now there is there should not be an issue with taking the input, okay. Now what we're going to do if, okay, in condition, what I'm going to put it, if M, is greater than 85. Now we haven't put it over here. Ki 85, uh, sorry, if M is greater than 90, okay? The person secured grade A, but we have to be very sure ki na marks or uh, the percentage are what? Up till 100 only, okay? Then and, okay? And comes as in both conditions should be true, okay? So M should be less than equal to 100 okay again 100 i am percentage to be valid here correct so here i'm just putting this and i'll print over here eight a okay i'm not writing anything much you can write it no issues if now the next statement says was 70 to 90. <clears throat> so m Greater hai kisse 70 se and less hai 90 se. But abhi in dono case mein, in this, if we put 90, kaha jayega marks? Upar bhi aega, nichi bhi aega. So the printing will be grade A and grade B. So here, either you uh, can write this. 
yes first wale statement mein equality correct good so uh, when we have this so hum yahan pe dalenge equal to sign aur yahan pe bhi 70 ko hum dalenge equal to sign so what we are doing right now is <coughs> 70 से लेके 90 तक बट 90 विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन ग्रेट वन ग्रेट ए ओके सो दिस इज डन एंड देन प्रिंट अगर आपने कुछ दूसरा लॉजिक यूज किया है इट्स ओके ऐसे ही करना है इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज नेसेसरी ओके नाउ आई एम राइटिंग इफ 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 ओके इसको और एक टाइप बोलते हैं व्हिच इज नोन एज मल्टीपल इफ ओके यू कैन यूज एल इफ ओवर हियर नो इश्यूज ठीक है नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज थर्टी फाइव सॉरी फोर्टी फाइव टू सेवेंटी सो एम ग्रेटर देन फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव एंड एम लेस देन सेवेंटी Someone is writing something into chat. Just a minute. I'll complete this and I'll get that. Okay. Someone did this. Very good. Who's this? Arian. Okay. Uh, he he has used that into the list. Good one. Perfect. Okay, but if I put suppose if I put Aryan, the numbers x as five, y as five, and z as two, what will be the output? Just check me and let me know. You got the input. What I uh, said, five, five, two. is going to come for sure first number only because okay and 7 to 5 7 aayega 7 5 7 This will give you the largest number for sure. अगर आपको put करना है कि x बड़ा है या y बड़ा है या z बड़ा है then you have to put something else. It is a simple one. Understood what I have written over here? Quickly, we'll go for a dry run. So, क्या करना है हमें पहले? Check. कि suppose if I put forty-five, so ये इसमें आएगा क्या? इसमें क्या है? Ninety से ऊपर, hundred से नीचे. No, it will not come over here. Then uh, we'll go next. Seven to uh, seventy, ninety. No, forty-five, seventy. Yes, the grade should be C. We'll check it whether it is correct. Put forty-five. Got it? Okay, I'll change the input now to sixty-one. Okay, so we'll go over here. No, it's grade not A. Uh, second, no. Third, again it's C. We'll check. C. Understood the question? How to understand it and how to write it? Good. Simple. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I used. Float instead of integer, and when I entered thirty four point nine nine and lot of nine instead of thirty five, it considered it to be thirty five. 
Okay. See, when we have float, it takes the maximum bytes which, which can be used because it's a decimal number. So that's why it, it went to that particular 34.999. So if you want to restrict it, then we have to write it in print. You have printed the percentage as well or the you know, marks as well, correct? No, ma'am. I entered the marks as a uh, decimal. decimal. Okay, okay. So what do you want then? Ma'am, when I entered 34.9999, it considered it to be 35. Yeah, perfect. Nah. So it's same. Like we know as a mathematics fellow also that if it is greater than five after a decimal point, then it has to be considered as the next number, correct? Good. Okay. So understood this simple example request. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So the largest number uh, has put it. That's correct. You can use the list and you can go forward with that. No issues. If else, there are multiple if also, if else also, which we have done right now. Okay. Now the next last type of the if else is remaining. See, it's not like that. It's a whole year. Aapko bohut thode si practice karni padegi. I will give you some program for a practice purpose so that you will get sorted out with the basics. Okay. Now the nested if else. What do you mean by nested? Naam suna hai kabhi? Yes, ma'am. Nested e matlab? If else ke andar dus. Matlab if else ke andar uh, if else. Perfect. Ek if else hai, uske andar wapas hume condition hai, to hum wapas usko put karenge. Okay. Now, uh, what we are going to have, the question is that first we have to find out the number is positive. Thikhe? Understand the problem statement. Number is, we have to find out whether the number is positive and it's three. Then write it's number three or display number three. Else, invalid. Okay, first tell me what you understood by the question. If the number is equal to 3, then it will uh, print the number is 3. Otherwise, it will print uh, any other input. It will print a value. Mom, first of all, it will check if it is positive or not. Correct. Then it will print 3. We have to print the number is 3 and the number is positive. That's our motto. Okay. So, पहले हमें चेक करना पड़ेगा कि नंबर पॉजिटिव है क्या अगर वो है देन विल प्रिंट द नंबर इज पॉजिटिव उसके बाद हम वापस चेक करेंगे कि जो नंबर दिया है वो पॉजिटिव है पर वो 3 है क्या देन वी विल प्रिंट द नंबर इज 3 गॉट इट यस मैम गो अहेड राइट इट इज हार्डली 5 लाइन सॉरी समवन सेड समथिंग इट्स के बाद क्या लिखते हैं क्या क्या and it's ke baad kya likha tha 3 Our main focus is on positive number, not negative number. Understood that? So you can put L statement accordingly. Perfect. Simple it is. First, I'll just put the number. We'll take 10 from the user. And here, first we are going to check if 
n is greater than zero. The first statement. Okay. Inside that, we are going to write our print statement. Number is positive. Okay. And then if <clears throat> n equals to equals to sorry n equals to equals to three, then print number is three. Okay, and I'll just put it over here else. Print number is negative. Okay. Now, as I said earlier, to do the dry run first. Okay. So suppose if I put over here five, okay, it will come over here. It will check whether it is greater. Yes, it's true. Correct. So print. This will be printed in the output. Ye pe aega, check karega, nahi hai. To ye ho jayega, false. Check nahi hoga, niche ha jayega, else dekhega, nahi print hoga. Okay. So what we want is the number should be positive and three. So it's not three. That is for sure. To ye agar aapko yaha pe likna hai, then you can put a one more statement that else print number is positive but not three getting so why dry run is important understood the question and then go ahead with the programming okay okay sorry Ma'am, hmm? ma'am, but uh, once we have already written uh, in the first statement, uh, print number is positive. Then uh, when it when it is three, uh, hmm. uh, we are writing again number is positive. If we just write number is not. Three. We are not writing number is three. We are just writing number is three. When we are writing else, then I'm mentioning number is positive but not three. That's it. Yeah, ma'am, but uh, when the first if statement is uh, means it runs, number is positive will already be printed, na? So uh, the else statement should be uh, number is not. Okay, three. okay, you're telling me about this statement. Yes, we uh, can write that number is not three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Ma'am, I've sent you the code, but uh, in Zoom the indentation is not correct. That's okay. Okay, this is where you have written uh, inside the first if or outside it. Ma'am, inside. The, the first one is uh, means uh, if, then one more end if inside, then the other if is outside. This is the one block. Other, other else is outside. Okay, okay. Same as I have written else over here. The next else, yes, correct? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> See. The motto behind giving this example was to understand the logic. Okay, what is nested if? Okay, so I'm going to give you one example. Uh, someone did for the greatest number. That's good. That was the first question. Second question I'm going to give you. Please write it down or take a screenshot. <clears throat> or I'll put in a chat. The question is, write a program to find the price as below okay now this is actually a mixture of everything so you are you have to think up your relational operator use karna hai, logical karna hai, if else ladder karna hai, nested if else karna hai, hai? now price as in the first is you have to get input material i have i have given this example before i guess to you <clears throat> input material okay 
if if the material is cotton then again we have two things a <clears throat> type it's short then price is equals to 1000 and b type is trouser then price is 750 okay and next if if the material is polyester again inside that the sub points a type it's short and price will be 800 and b type is trouser then price could be 500 okay so now this is uh, this will tell me that how much you understood about fs please don't write now uh, chart in chat box or anywhere that you understood the question and uh, just for a sake of your understanding do not share your code with your friends do it yourself this is your homework i'll put this in a chart think on it and first what i, I always tell you first do the dry run if you have material cotton hai, cotton ke andar shirt aaya, mujhe ye aana so what you have to use how you have to use that is you are going to decide okay so uh pe aapko comparison bhi karna hai. Pe aapko, uh, you have to check whether ek hai uske baad wo condition true hoi to dusri condition hai so here we have a nested affairs also okay okay first understood the question and let me uh, just ask the question regarding if you uh, don't understood the problem statement Program samjha, sorry, uh, problem statement samjha hai. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm putting this to everyone. If your written is good, nahi, to aap kahin pe save kar lo. <coughs> okay, so this is all regarding the if else okay i'll give you some programs uh, just put a ma'am message in the evening that i can give you the ppt and the programs as well okay so this was what selection statement okay so how many if normal dikha how many simple if else be dikha okay if else nested dikha if else ladder dikha someone told me he didn't know about the last two now what you want to see now This one? I put it the question. Yes, yes. Okay, no issues. Okay, so someone said that he didn't understood about this or many, maybe. So now are you like at least you have an idea what is if else nested if else and if else ladder? Okay, so that was the question I told you about that. Uh, that was second. The first question was you have to find out and just write a question and then I write. Write a, write a program to find. Those who have done, not, not a worry about it. Write a program to find greatest number between three okay and the another question is write a program to print weekdays okay as if 
input is m then it's monday okay you can use the two different initials for thursday tuesday and uh, saturday and sunday okay you can put uh, one more initial so you can go ahead with that and that should be the whole program and till sunday it is and the last if other than any input like z a etc etc then it should be invalid input okay just get some uh, one minute understand the question then we'll go forward with the iteration हम ये सब सबमिट नहीं करना है हां ये आपको सबमिट नहीं करना है ना करना है नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में डू यू हाउ यू सबमिट द असाइनमेंट्स टू अदर टीचर्स व्हाट्सएप सॉरी थ्रू व्हाट्सएप ओके यू सबमिट दैट यू कैन सबमिट मी टू दैट सो आई विल चेक इट आउट I'm like before this we used to have a specific code for computer science so we used to send our assignments there. Okay, I'll ask ma'am to have a group so that it will be easier to everyone send it. Okay, okay, so that will be. Uh, please, please don't uh, share your program with your friends. Okay, I'm not saying that's for uh, sake of convenience, but I want to know how much you know about ifs. That's why I'm saying that. Okay. Okay, you understood the three questions for sure. Yes. Very good. Now, what was the thing? ये हमने देखा. This was what sequence statement हमने देखे. Where only the sequence is there. You can just get the input, or just we have to print it, or you just uh, having like suppose simple interest count करना है. एडिशन करना है सब्ट्रैक्शन करना है ये दिस दिस आर ऑल सीक्वेंस स्टेटमेंट्स सिलेक्शन स्टेटमेंट वी हैव सीन व्हिच इज वी हैव अ कंडीशन टू इट ओके एंड देन द थर्ड इज इटरेशन ओके व्हेन इटरेशन कम्स इन अ पिक्चर वी हैव टू लूप्स वन इज फॉर अनदर इज व्हाइल ओके सो फॉर के लिए हाउ इज द स्टेट सिंटैक्स फॉर अ फॉर लूप इन पाइथन What are the three important things when we have a for loop over here? <clears throat> for i in yes. So when I write, when we write for uh, like a i whatever i we write because it's an iteration i in okay. Here we put this set which is important, and then we put the colon okay. Who's this? Arey Baba, I said don't write it now. Okay. वैल्यू ओके और वो एक एक करके इलेमेंट को आगे लेके जाएगा तो यहाँ पे वट आर देशिक थिंग्स टू बी To be get in the consideration, एक start होता है, एक stop होता है. तो यहाँ पे slicing नहीं होगी for traverse करेगा, ठीक है? It will traverse from one point to another point, correct? So uh, in for we haven't uh, actually आपको पता होगा शायद से dumb statement, but we haven't started with that. So for loop में और if loop में we can use the dumb statement which is continue and break. ओके सो इन फॉर लुक नॉर्मली अगर आपको फॉर लुक देखना है और फॉर लुक आपको जस्ट यू वांट टू प्रिंट सपोज फ्रॉम वन टू टेन हाउ यू प्रिंटेड इट्स वेरी बेसिक आई जस्ट राइट फॉर 
A N. I'll put a range. Correct. Which range? Kya hai meri? I'm just going to from one to ten. And I print. Suppose value of A. What will be the output? Tell me the dry run quickly. <clears throat> Yes, that's correct. It is going to print that. Okay. Now, for this particular thing, the by default step is what? Is one. Okay. Now, if I want to start with two, I just want to print all even numbers. I I want to start with two. Can we look a single statement? I'll run this first. Okay, so we got this. Now, what I asked you is, if I want to start this with two, and I want to go ahead till 20. Okay, and I want only even numbers to be printed. Can I write a two over here? <clears throat> this will yes. work? Yes. yes. This will work, correct? I, you will know this very good. So the thing is that when we have a for loop and when we give a range function, so the basically range function goes like it's a start. Then we have a stop. Okay, it's separated by a comma. And then we have a step. By the first step is one. Okay, these are the basics which are very important when you go ahead with that. But suppose if I like you use list, you use string, uh, string etc. I'm not right, right now. We are not going to go with that. Next lecture, we are going to have string functions, list, tuple, and dictionary all throughout. So we are completing with the all revision door. Okay. But right now, after this lecture, what is important? I'm going to give this PDF, PPT, and some programs. Okay. So we have seven days in between. Please, please do study about it so that we can go ahead from a next lecture with a new topic. That is very important. Okay, so now if, uh, suppose if I say I want to have a for loop with uh, only from this to this, and if I want to have a three, uh, three as in three step, okay, that is three, six, nine, uh, like this. So how, how you can write? I'm asking you a very simple question. Three step, मुझे one से three six nine twelve fifteen ऐसे value चाहिए till thirty. आप कैसे लिखोगे इसको? इसी में change करना होगा कुछ तो. Start और step को three कर देंगे. Yes, start three से करो end. Thirty. Thirty पे end करोगे तो thirty print होगा. 33. Okay, good. Then? Step of three. Step of three. Good. So we got three table. Perfect. Okay. Now, here we have three. Diya. But again, if I want, uh, this should be with five. Then you need to change it to five, 55, and then five. Again, if I want 11. Now just make a generalized statement for a table. So if you put number, you table aapko milna chahiye. How you can do it? Just get it one minute, think on it and let me know. Okay, I'll write over here the problem statement. And that says, write a program to print number table. Okay. And then to eleven. Okay, even that will work.
Yeah, yeah, I, I got your answer. I got your answer. You uh, basically, whatever we are going through, that logic you put it into N and you just uh, went through it. Okay, no issues. If I want to print that in a print statement, like I want to have 5 into 1 is equal to 5, 5 into 2 is equal to 10, you must have done this in 11 standard. Okay, this is 21, no issues. This will take a last example and then we'll take any doubt if you have. <clears throat> Very good. You're done with the number table. Good. It's easy, correct? Can we write a range from 1 to 11? And we'll print the numbers with, and we have taken from the user, okay, that we are going to print. Then we'll just have a sec of convenience that it will be uh, into sign in between, okay. And here I have an A, so this A will be there. Correct. So N into A, that means whichever number you put, whatever number you put, that will start with one, it will go till 10. And again, I'll just put an equal to sign over there. So that will have a proper notification, sorry, um, as an idea, like same as table and the value as N into A. This will work, what do you say? Okay, let's do the dry run. Okay, dry run as in, I'll take a number seven. I'll take a small number first. Three, take a three as a input. First tell me, I'm saying again and again one word that is dry run. Do you understand what exactly means by a dry run? Okay, so over here, see input we have taken three. So at this point, what will happen? At this point, we are going to have what? We'll have three, which is number. X will be printed, that is into. A is one at the first iteration. Then equal to, because we have written in the print statement. And N into A, that is at this point, N is three and one is, uh, uh, sorry, A is one. So it will be three. Next, suppose next line we are going to go ahead with it. N will be constant, three. X will be printed as a multiplication size. A is the next iteration, which will be two. Now it, here it will be two, equal to that, whatever N into A we have. So it will be six over here. Okay, so we'll just try whether it is coming or not. Go three. Understood? Easy? Yes. yes. You understood? We just changed how it should look into the output. Nothing is changing. Nothing matters a lot. But when the question comes, you just have to think on the logic. Yes, that's it. 
और आपको पता है एन क्या है आपको पता है इन क्या है आपको पता है इनपुट फंक्शन क्या करता है फॉर क्या करता है रेंज क्या करता है प्रिंट क्या करता है यू नो एवरी थिंग विद इन सेंटेक्स ठीक है सो आपको उसको बस अच्छे से यूज करना आना चाहिए दैट इज आर मेन मोटो एंड दिस इज हाउ यू राइट अ प्रोग्राम बेसिक्स ओके अंडरस्टूड एवरी वन very good okay now the thing is that uh, we haven't yet completed with the for because in for we have a normal for okay that is simple for i can say and nested for too okay and for with if else okay and in while the same condition if you understood these three statements it will be very easy to understand while because in a while only the st uh, stop and step is not there you can go ahead with the condition and that's it okay so the thing is that these are three important okay first uh, in a next lecture we are going to start with this we'll go ahead with the string functions list functions dictionaries then uh, for the uh, next lecture we are go going forward with the 12th whatever we are going to have the chapter 3 okay till now we have 3 minutes left as tak jitna hua you understood that have a quick revision chalo from the starting of the lecture first what we understood the sequence of the statement correct in sequence of the statement we understood we can write anything for like suppose a normal addition just printing it correct or using an import function so you have the first uh, i told you about or uh, use or input mat function so that at least you can go ahead with that okay next we understood the conditional or selection statement in selection statement what do we understood we have if we have if else if else as in how we write elif okay this is how we write inside that what we use relational operators and logical operators correct then we understood how to write if else ladder to with all operators correct and then we have nested if else to with the operator so i have given you an example you can go ahead with if else or someone has done that with a list even that is okay because the output is important logic is same logic is going to be the same if it is the material then uh, shirt and trousers if it, again the material is different shirt and trousers we have to print the price accordingly that's it so this is what we have learned and we have just uh, have had the introduction of for with its Sorry, with the number in range function over here. Range function over here. Start, stop, and step. Correct. And then we are going to see in the next lecture as the different parts as well. A uh, uh, for with if else for a nested for over here. and how to give an output or you can say output formatting okay other than this any doubt you have <clears throat> or jitna sikha utna samjha we'll have the basics mam maine anaconda download kiya tha to ab wo delete karne ki koshish kar raha hu to nahi ho raha uninstall nahi ho raha डू वन थिंग ना जहाँ पे आपने इंस्टॉल किया था वहां पे एक फोल्डर रहते हैं पहले उसको निकाल के अन इंस्टॉल कर दो वापस आप इंस्टॉल कर पाओगे प्लीज चेक योर बिट आपका पीसी थर्टी टू बिट है सिक्सटी फोर बिट है कितना है
64 ओके तो उसी का आपने डाउनलोड किया था हैव यू इंस्टॉल्ड इट यस ओके चेक आउट डू वन थिंग गो टू सिस्टम प्रोग्राम एंड इंस्टॉल इट डिलीट द फाइल्स एंड द फोल्डर्स ओवर देयर एंड रीस्टार्ट इट वंस अगेन एंड देन चेक व्हेदर इट इज गॉन ऑर नॉट ओके कभी-कभी आप वैसे ही रखते हो स्लीप पे रहता है लैपटॉप और समथिंग देन the it's not updated the software will, will not be updated that's why just do it once or let me know uh, through the map okay and uh, so what we have to download instead of anaconda uh, you can have a script directly python 3 from direct uh, download site if you want i'll give you the link but anaconda is better as a interactive for a script we are going to go with the spider 2 but directly you can have the python 3 script no issues Yes, even that is okay. Okay, so no doubt, uh, whatever we have learned today, yes or no? No one. Okay, very good. So please do the homework which I told you. and it is very important that do not share it with anyone keep your program with yourself and we'll discuss that in next lecture or i'll talk to ma'am if you have a group then you can send me in that okay chalo bye have a good day